the most promising way of cooperation are of course linked to the needs of the Polish authorities. We have understood as of today that the Earth observation is a key topic for the Polish authorities, probably for sovereignty, probably for dual use and developing applications. So this is a topic we are really ready to cooperate with them as soon as possible. We have a full range of uh, Earth observation capabilities and technologies. Uh, optical uh, Earth observation satellite, of course, radar Earth observation satellite. And we are able to deliver any type of resolution any type of performance depending on the customer on the customer's needs. For the Peru, uh, I will give you an example of the what we have concluded recently, uh, PeruSat for Peru. Uh, it is a, an electro-optical satellite of 50 centimeter performance. Uh, of course, the customer was willing to have uh, also an extensive cooperation uh, program to train its, its engineer, develop capabilities, and we conduct everything in 24 months from the contract signature to the satellite launch, which is a very short uh, schedule for this type of performance. Most of the customers are trying to leverage on a program they are acquiring abroad to train and develop their own capabilities. It was the case for Peru. More than 25 engineers were trained. We have a very well-known and well-established uh, uh, training program for this. And they were also able to um, work as a shoulder-to-shoulder -shoulder with their own engineers to really uh, uh, learn on the job and really participate to the integration of the satellite and this kind of activity. At the end of the training program, they have the full ability to um, follow a program, uh, understand the program, uh, and uh, approve the program. Of course, Airbus Defense and Space uh, in 2016, to take an example, uh, was ranked uh, number one in telecommunication satellite uh, with 25% market share. We are the number one exporter in Earth Observation Satellite. So we have a great need to enlarge our supply chain. So my recommendation to the Polish company is to start and to uh, use to the maximum extent the European uh, Space Agency uh, Polish contribution to develop their own capabilities. We are there to support them. And we work together with this company on ESA program, operational program. What we have done, for instance, on Meetup SG, what we, have, what we are currently doing on JUICE, the science satellites going to Jupiter. And once we have learned how to work together and this company have developed, uh, I mean, a European competitive product, then we can include them and we are willing to include them in our supply chain. It's a really a step-by-step -step approach on the basis. Uh, start with a reasonable ambition, deliver, increase ambition, deliver, and so on and so on. Uh, we have two uh, local companies doing space. Since 2010, we have Astri Polska, which is a joint venture between the SRC, the Space Research Center, and, uh, and Airbus. And we have Pizetel Warszawa Kenshe, which is also a joint venture between uh, Airbus Defense and Space and uh, PGZ. Uh, what we need to develop in space, local capabilities, is really excellence. So we decided to focus Astri Polska on a few domains EGSC, Electrical Ground Support Equipment, OGSC, Optical Ground Support Equipment, and any type of application and services. And at the same time, we decided to develop Pizetel Warszawa Kenshe in harnesses, structures, integration, and later on, platform, and uh, all these kind of activities. But really with the objective to, that both these companies are getting to excellence level to be able to compete at European scale, and then why not at worldwide scale? The jobs we have developed in Poland is more than 100 jobs, full-time jobs. Uh, most, the vast majority are only uh, very uh, high-skilled people, PhD and this kind of things. So we, we are really uh, fostering to develop more this, this type of activities in space, in Poland.